During a residency in Kansas, um, I ended up spending time with a um, sonar astronomer, a hobbyist sonar astronomer. And I went out into the middle of nowhere in Kansas, and somehow over the years he had acquired all of the, um, the equipment necessary to send voice signals to the moon. Um, from, from different universities, like uh, University of Idaho, I mean, it just, it was totally amazing in the middle of nowhere with no formal training, only like a, a passion to know how to do this and a, a true sense of resourcefulness. And, and so, um, I went that night when, when the moon was in the right position with, with the, the, um, that thing, the satellite or, um, no, the, the, Anyways, um, and, and I got, he let me talk into the phone, and I was away from Michael, and it was the, the month we were supposed to get married, and so I said into this microphone, I love Michael John Hall, and then I waited, and then in five seconds, I heard my voice saying that, bouncing off of the moon, coming back to me, over the line, kind of crackly, saying, I love Michael John Hall, um, kind of, and, and I was like, holy shit, and I learned a lot that night, um, and I've been thinking about it in the terms of, of politics, one, um, without the proper training and the formal resources, anything is still possible, um, so we can, if, if this guy in Kansas can make his voice bounce off of the moon, like, we can change things in Washington, D.C., <laughs> Um, two, there is a delay involved. <laughs> so you stay in it, and it takes a while before it um, bounces back and you hear it reflected to you. But the third most amazing thing I learned that night is that our voices travel like in a cone shape. So, so when I said, I love Michael, um, only a, a portion of that hit, that hit the moon and bounced back. And the rest that didn't hit the moon, that keeps going for infinity into the universe. Um, so it's still going right now. So I think, you know, thinking about that in terms of politics, um, part of what we're doing right now is going to go past, beyond our goals. And, and we're not going to see them. But, um, and even like, you know, when we're loving our loved ones, our friends, our family, I think we have to really have faith that that love can like spill over um, wider than we can imagine. Um, so that's my circuitous.